Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today, let's quickly try this one. So it's a dynamo exercise, so uh, we, we can control the percentage of um, different different materials or, or colors. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, let's create a conceptual mass. Okay, so um, let's just place some uh, spline through points and then create a form and just make it uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so now select this form and create a use divided surface. So let me just uh, slightly increase the number of this. Okay. okay, so that's it. And then we need to create a pattern based family. Okay, so can, it can be curtain panel pattern based and also there is this generic gen, oh sorry generic model uh, pattern based so it's the same <laughs> so let's just create uh, start this uh, generic model pattern based and then create a form so this is very very simple uh, one and that's it so and then select this uh, form and we can create a material let's call it M and instance parameter and okay okay and this is it so now load this into this um, conceptual mass and select this divided surface again and go select this new family so this will take a few uh, seconds and okay so this is it so now you will see um, instead of those grids now become into these um, individual family you can use tab to select individual one and once you select this family you can change the material okay so now let's go to a manage and li uh, material library okay so we are going to create some uh, new let's call it um, maybe a let, oh sorry let's call this uh, maybe a1 and let's give it uh, some different color so for example red okay so and then duplicate and then call it a2 so this time um, maybe let's let's call it uh, let's make it different color and duplicate and then a3 okay so we so a3 maybe white color so we're going to um, apply these materials onto these families so for example this one a1 it become red and this one uh, top A2 become uh, blue, kind of blue, and A3 become white. Okay, so now we're going to build um, use Dynamo to control the percentage of these three different color. Okay, so let's start. So go to manage and Dynamo. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's start so click on new and so first we need to select all these uh, family type okay so so go to Revit and selection so there is this all fa uh, family type family type this one okay so oh forgot so let's change this to menu so family type so this is the one okay family three just double check to make sure that's the correct one. So once you have this one, so all element of family type link, and if you click wrong, so you will see all the list. So there are 225 here. And then what we need is a set, set parameter by name. Okay, so this is the one we use to control the uh, parameter of this family. So basically we just need to link this and this the parameter name is capital M, capital M, oh, capital M, yep, and link to that. And then we just need to create a list with different uh, material. Okay, so let's quickly do it. So it will be A1, um, A1, um, A1. So actually, I think we need to do this so a1 okay so control c control v and a2 and control c control v and a3 so these are the three uh the name name of the material 
these are not the material these are the name of the material okay and then we need to um, uh, let's just uh, find the material and I'll, I'll try to search material name okay oops there's no um, I think it should be this one select the material from current token by the name okay so once we link this to it so control C control V and we can just control V and now if I click around so this convert this name uh, into this material become material which means we can if I link this to that uh, this uh, set parameter by name it will work you can't use name to this value okay? this must be a uh, material so now we need to um, set the percentage so first one I'm going to use the in int integer slider so this one okay and set it to from 1 to 100 okay so all good and I'll link this so actually I'm going to link to uh, I'll use a cycle oops cy and then so link material so this is a list for material a1 and amount will be this integer so if I connect this to here that's it and then just select these two control C control V and then link it to here and the, the last one so the last one will be slightly different because all these three I don't want to um, so if, if for example if I set this uh, uh, to 10% and set this to 10% as well and then I don't want to manually type in 80% I want it to do it uh, itself so we can do this so just use the uh, let me think minus so minus okay and uh, hang on no maybe try this one x minus uh, y minus z so maybe try this okay so x oh actually we don't need x x is 100 okay so so we only need y and z so y is this one link this to y z is this one link to this so now whatever we pick so if for example this is one this is one if i click around so this keyboard should give us 98 right so now we can just feed this into another uh, cycle so control C control V so link this to the last one a3 and then link this to amount so now if we um, so these are the three lists we need to bring uh, together so let's right click list I just want to combine them okay so what item one item zero item one item two so now let's click on run and so this is a list but we need because uh, oh, sorry actually the, this is a list of three list so you see there's there are three list so we just need to flatten it I believe okay oh I think probably not this one um flatten maybe this one oh that's uh, what's that for i'm not sure <laughs> let's try yeah it was it become just one single list so then um 100 of course it's not uh, probably it's not enough so we just need to add another cycle to it just make sure um make sure the number in this list is uh, greater then the number in this list okay the number of element of this family so now we just need to just add another inter integer so we can control it oh sorry not this right click search and for this one maybe i'll just so because this is a 100 we just need to have 
more than two or three hundred so let's start from three and maybe finish at ten okay so this should uh, be enough so now we just need another one shuffle okay link to this and then link this back to here so if i click on run so this should give us one percent of a1 one percent of a2 and 98 percent of a3 so it was which is white so that's one one 98 okay so now let's try so if i um for for number 30 percent 30% so and then a3 will be 40% if I click on run that's it 30% um, so you can also do this automatic so which means you can just drag this one and instantly you will receive the result not instantly but <laughs> need to wait for a few seconds see more red how about 90% uh, red oh you probably yeah it seems <laughs> more than 100 but yeah roughly um, yeah just I think just make sure these two uh, this one plus this one's smaller than 100 then it will be uh, relatively uh, correct but if you have both of them 100 which means you will have zero a3 but these two will roughly be 50% uh, okay so this is it um, if I'll just um, let me just quickly stop this yeah let me just uh, show you this one so you can just have a look so I hope you can see this it's it's quite simple of course um, and this is it um, if you have any questions please let me know and I'll see you next time thank you bye